Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making Polish sausage with beer and onions. Welcome back friends! This is Polish Kitchen my name is Anna and here we cook Polish food. And today we are going to be drinking on the job. Yes! <laughs> Today I'm going to be preparing um, fresh Polish sausage, fresh white sausage, we call it biała kiełbasa, uh, baked with onions and apples. But before we continue, I'd like to uh, take a few moments to thank a few of our donors and supporters. Thank you to David Dura, Gloria Czecka, Jody Dion, Marian and Albert Zarbecki, and Joan Mirza. Thanks guys! Your donations are greatly appreciated. As mentioned, we're uh, playing with sausage today. <laughs> I have a plate of uh, biała kiełbasa and I'm, I'm gonna try to link somewhere here. Uh, we've made this on the channel, Mark and I, together. Uh, this is uh, typical Polish sausage. It's unsmoked, raw uh, pork sausage uh, with a bunch of marjoram and garlic. And this sausage is often not often, <laughs> always prepared for around Easter time in Poland. And normally for Easter, it's uh, boiled and served in soup. But I get a lot of questions about how to prepare this sausage. So I thought, why not uh, come up with a recipe that uh, can showcase this gorgeous thing. So we're not really going to be doing anything to it just yet. First, we're going to prepare uh, uh, our casserole uh, or uh, what do you call it? Hot dish? Hot dish. <laughs> it's Let's see, in Minnesota it's a hot dish, in Wisconsin it's a casserole. What is it guys uh, in where you're from? Is it casserole or hot dish? Comment below! Please comment below and also if you're new here please subscribe. This lets our channel grow and YouTube uh, shows the video to more people so it helps us. So thank you and we appreciate it. So start your engines, and by that I mean your ovens, to 360 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. And we're going to be baking this in no time, and you're going to be eating in probably about 45 minutes. So, last minute dinner. Uh, okay, so b before I yap some more, uh, I have about three uh, cups of onion, and it's just sliced, not across, but long way. We call it feathered. What do you call it? I'm going to cover it because it's going to hurt my eyes. I call it on the, on the bias? On the I don't know. No, with the grain. With the grain of the onion. So okay. you have it and then you go with the grain of the onion and cook instead of cross the onion, I think. So slice the onion, the however you're going to... Yeah. <laughs> slice the <laughs> onion. Uh, and we're going to be drinking a job because we're going, to be using, we're going to be using half of the beer for our sausage and the rest you can't throw away, so... This is half a liter of namesuf and it's a pills. You can use your favorite beer, you can go dark or light, however you like it. Uh, namesuf is one of the um, smaller breweries in Poland. It's pretty tasty beer. Use good beer though, don't get like natty light. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go about half um, and so if you're buying 0.3 liter beer you can leave a little bit for you to taste. About two, uh, 250 milliliter, milliliters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice and tasty, it's a little bitter and approved. Not, approved, not too sweet. And to our beer I'm gonna add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And you can as, as always adjust this recipe to however you like it. And here in Poland and all over Europe you can buy these, this mustard that we call French mustard. Uh, in America I believe this is called Old Style Mustard where you can see the mustard seeds. And I'm using about a quarter cup. And this is going to make nice, um, nice mustardy kind of spicy. Oh, I'm actually using spicy mustard because I want the spiciness of the mustard kind of mixing with beer and um, I also have quarter cup of raisins that we're going to add to our mix and a pinch of salt. I'm not going to add too much salt because there is some in um, the sausage already and can always add more. And pepper also as much as you want. If you like it spicy go ahead. If not just 
few uh, turns of the, and I'm just gonna make, give this a give this a whisk. just to let the mustard kind of dissolve in here and then I'm going to take the three cups of uh, onions that we have sliced here I'm going to put it on the bottom of my pan my, or my baking dish I should say and I like lots of onions three cups um, is I don't know if you consider that lots or not you can do more and then um, I have two two apples you can choose whatever apple I'm just going to give these kind of a slice and these are also going to give us a nice uh, flavor combined with the mustard and the sausage drippings and a nice sweetness and nice spiciness of, of the rest of the dish. Now, as mentioned, I get a lot of questions about how to serve this, this piaccio basa. Uh, and normally when we make it at home, Mark and I, we make like 10 pounds at a time and then obviously we can't eat all of it so we'll go in the freezer and it freezes just fine i normally freeze it raw and then i pull it whenever i feel like having some and we would often grill it too because we just have a freezer full so it's perfect grilled or put in the soup as mentioned before so this is it we got our apples in and got all this in. All there is, all there is, is to pour our beer mixture over our onions, beer and um, raisins. I'm gonna pour this over. I can smell the sweetness of the raisin already, and I'm just gonna give this a stir. And then we're gonna take our sausages and we're gonna just pop them right on top. So I normally say this, when you're making your sausage, don't puncture the casings because you want all of the flavor to kind of stay in and, and moisturize the, the meat. But in this case, I'm gonna puncture the sausage because I want the, some of the fat to kind of flow out and flavor some of our onions and apples. So when it's baking, go ahead. I was gonna say, and then once you puncture the top, flip them. Right. So I'm puncturing just the tops now, and then flip them. And don't puncture the other side. Why? Think about it, it's a jet stream of goodness going down into the food. Oh, okay. I can subscribe to your uh, madness. And just like this, we're gonna pop this in the oven and we're gonna start with 20 minutes and we're gonna monitor our sausages. They're gonna start browning on top. I'm gonna, at 20 minutes, flip them, give this a stir so once the fat that flows into there, I wanna kinda of make it, make sure it's uh, covering everything. So after 20 minutes, we'll flip and we'll bake it for another 20, 25 minutes. casserole baked dish is in and just as that goes in we can prepare our potatoes because we're gonna do a complete meal today I'm just gonna peel and boil some potatoes you want to help nope <laughs> when your sausage casserole is baking peel some potatoes set them to boil and then once they're done, mesh them up real good. At 20 minutes, we're gonna chuck our sausages. Make sure everything is covered. And dripping with joy. <laughs> and give these beauties a turn.
And next I'm gonna teach you how to make delicious mashed potatoes to go with your dish. I have, I'm just heating the pan here and I'm gonna put a dollop of butter, super easy. We have about 10 minutes left on our sausages. Perfect time. I'm gonna just melt a tablespoon and a half maybe uh, of butter. And then I'm gonna add my mashed potatoes. You can easily use leftovers to my melted butter. Like this and walk away. By walk away, I don't mean like leave completely. Just don't touch it for a couple, three minutes. And then when you do, give this a stir and this nice brown bottom layer will be created. And I can probably turn this down a little bit at this point. And give this a nice turn. Mix the brown bits with the rest of the potatoes. And then we're gonna... More butter? Why are you so quiet? More butter! <laughs> Mark says more butter, I guess. More butter. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit more butter, I guess, too. Is it too dry, you think? No, I just like butter. Okay. I'm gonna give this a stir so the brown bits get all mixed in there. And we're ready for our sausages. And just let this sit here on your stove until your sausages are ready. And we're ready! You know what we should name this dish? Uh, sausage and onions with apples? Magic. Oh. Or sorcery. <laughs> so sorcery! You know why? Because it's Because it'll make everyone fall in love with you after you make it. So we should call it um, Val St. Valentine. Hey! Or a door to Mark's heart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to scoop a little bit of my delicious potatoes onto a plate and ready to serve. Do as much as you want. Oh! Let's not forget, I have some chopped parsley. Just for nice decoration and flavor. Parsley's good. Look, how nice is this? Gorgeous, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. And we're going to take one of our beautiful sausages and uh, it baked for altogether 45 minutes with the last five minutes being under the broiler for a little bit of color. Oh man, this may be a door to my heart too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put these beautiful onions, apples, and raisins all over my sausage. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna taste it. Ho, 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 ho. All right, friends. Nicely cooked on the inside. I'm just gonna do a little piece so I don't sit here burning my face half. I'm gonna get a piece of apple. And this is what we call a complete bite. Mmm. So I got the vi lot of vinegary flavor of the sausage and I got the sweetness of the onion and the apple just go in there and turn up the volume on the sweetness and just a little bit of spicy that mustard was tiny bit spicy you can definitely add a little bit more and maybe red pepper flakes if you want or something like that if you like spicy come here my friend i will steal your heart again <laughs> <laughs> how's that for you, you? Know, that's really i was i was like i told you earlier i was worried about the apple going along with these flavors and it's magnificent. It's pretty good. Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Here you go, friends. I hope you make this at home soon and wow your friends at your next dinner. Please come back again to Polish Kitchen and we'll see you next time. Smachnego!
Um, how much do I put in here? I believe this is... And just like this. We'll wash that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just gonna... Blah, blah. I'm just gonna boil, no. And next I'm gonna teach you how to uh, reheat your mashed potatoes or if your potatoes are already hot, obviously. But if you, no, this is not, this is not going well for me. <laughs> You're not reheating them, no. you're actually making them. Yeah.